Hello, my name is Dino Gamer, and we are back with Assassin's Creed the Black Flag. And I have transformed, transformed, transported straight into the main quest right here. So let's talk to this dude and get on to the next. Sorry about the swift exit, bit of a misunderstanding. One heaped upon another. Ow. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, mate, this is my doing. I'm only trying to keep these Spanish eyes off me. Oh, it's no bother. Regrettably, the soldiers confiscated my sugar so when your dispatches. Damn! And where'd they gone? Having the foggiest idea, I'm afraid. I suspect those chaps might, but my Spanish is we mal dad, so I, I'd rather not ask. Shit! All right, come on, let's follow them and recover my maps. And my sugar? <laughs> what, in my drawers? We'll see what happens. He really wants his sugar. Ah! <coughs> yeah, I know what Eagle Vision is. Didn't know that though. Then you could tag up to 10 enemies. Animals, bro, just looking at him. So that's good. Okay, let's go. How does he keep quiet and stay out of sight? How does my tail off? Oh, okay. I believe I'm getting the hang of this. Quiet. I wow. fear they're onto us. Hang back. Omnes qui lo futuro de dice vigilum perinde a tomber vida. We should split up to confuse them. Best idea you've had today. I think you should disappear. Where's he gone? Ah, I'm just gonna try these. Buenos dias, senores. You're late. Good for people. We are very sorry. Our captain delayed us. Well, where are you going? Waka. Be second to the police. This will be Captain Miller. Well, I need to get in there. I can't just walk in there, now, can I? Come on. No, don't be fat. You gone. Wow, well, they just keep going into places, don't they? Oh. Come on. I wonder where my dude is. Huh? Uh oh. Uh oh. Ow! <laughs> he tackled me down. I knew you'd go on the roof was a bad idea. The hanging will be started soon. Let's not dilly dally. Just we go. Alright, we'll try that again. You're going to not even notice this, but we just tell these guys. Where are we? Man, it's flying around. Are you running? Seems like they're running. They are running. Wow. <coughs> Man, I can't wait for this cop to go. And I sound half normal again. I'm a bit confused, like last one they were not running. And this one they're like uh Oh. Uh 
Oh, I can see him. Okay. Don't fall into that trick. Where did you spawn me? Jeez. <coughs> okay. Excuse me, need to get out. Am I just going to assassinate this dude? Just not hiring you. I'm using you as cover. You want me to steal the captain's key? Even though he's in a building right now. Through the roof. Through the back. Nice conversation, guys. Ah, oh, I think I just seen what. Right. And should we say dancers around here? I can, if I can get some dancers to distract these guards, I can take that dude out. Yeah. Oh, is he coming back this way? Wow, he's a brave soul. My knives. Come on, in. This is. Better than what well, I like. This is got out of hand, to be honest. <laughs> oh, yeah. This has got well out of hand. <laughs> oh, we're talking about the bloody counter. And again. Oh, 
I'll take the captain out, finally. Oh, you got the edge. So, what do I do now? Oh, well, I wasn't exactly going to sneak, was I? Wait, there must be another way in. I'm getting a feeling there isn't. Oh, but there is a tree. Is that actually working? <coughs> I made it in. This is really hard. I hate sneaking. Sod this. Oh, let me guess. Oh, I managed to get away with it somehow. <laughs> Lucky charm. Right, I got back my stuff. Am I actually gonna get back the sugar? Of course, why would I get back the sugar? I'm free! <laughs> Sorry dude, I didn't get back your sugar. So I managed to do better than what I thought I was going to do. So where? I want more life though. Not like the fact that I have so little life. Or am I reaching the boat? Or is it... This game is really pretty. I do not know what. <laughs> it's like I do like the idea it's all open world and stuff, and literally what you can see. The map's huge and stuff, but. I'm really looking forward to what games are going to be able to do with all this new up, like technology and stuff. I'm looking forward to, like, to the new next like Skyrim or. Well, I think Fallout is going to be the next thing. I was really looking forward to what they could do there. Sorry about the sugar. I've only one pair of hands. Oh, it's no great loss. Uh, I've got uh, plenty of cargo here to make a profit on my trip. Will you stay here long? For a few weeks, yes. But then back to Barbados to the tedium of domesticity. Don't settle for tedium. Sail for NASA. Live life as you see fit. <laughs> Haven't I heard that NASA is crawling with pirates? Seems a very tawdry place. Not tawdry, liberate. Oh, God. That would be an adventure. <laughs> but no. No, I'm a husband and a father. I have responsibilities. Life can't be all pleasure and distraction, Duncan. Yes, can. Hey, our bonnet. The name's Edward, in truth. Duncan's only a handle. Ah. Secret name for your secret meeting with the governor. The governor, right. I think I've kept him waiting long enough. Yeah, I really don't give a crap about that whole percentage thing. Whatever idea that was, I don't understand. But whatever. Her father, song sheets and stuff? So, we're off to the next place. I don't understand why I understand. I don't like the multiplayer on um, Assassin's Creed. I, I just don't see the point of it. There are some games that just shouldn't do multiplayer. I don't understand why all games feel like they need to put multiplayer into games. And wow, what was up with that dude? I just really, yeah, I just don't understand it. It's like Batman, they put 
my player in. I'm like, why? Oh. Wow, well, language, dude. I'm gonna rubber tackle you on a rooftop. How'd that sound? Oh, that could be nasty. Are you coming up here? You are. Okay. Oh, this is getting really confusing. We're just going around in circles right now. I'm a faster climber than he is. And a faster runner. You are doomed, saint. On the rooftop, on the rooftop, on the rooftop. Oh my god, this is not clever. I'm gone. <laughs> Why are you attacking me? I'm only running on the roofs. I've kind of got distracted here. <laughs> In a bit, home dog. I got completely off track to where I was going to go. Look at this one dude. Is he on the rooftops? I think he is. <coughs> <coughs> Climb faster. Haha. <laughs> Where's he gone? There he is. This is just torture, this is. I can see him. I can see him. I'm coming to get you, you little crap bag. <laughs> I'm just finding this fun. Just chasing down a carrier. Oh, he is free will. What are you doing jumping down? You are making this real hard work, Conway. Where has he gone now? Oh, who knows? Out of the way! This dude is... Thank you. <laughs> Smoke bombs. Sweet. Right. What's that about? Oh yeah, it's like I don't understand why my player is like in this game. Cause this my player is all right, but it just <coughs> I just don't see the point in it. And then Batman's my player. I'm not even touching it. Tomb Raider had a my player in it. I just don't see the reason why. Some franchises just don't. It's like. Saying Oblivion or Skyrim is going to might play. It'd be cool in a way, but it's not the same experience that you get when you do it on your own. Wow, I am somewhere I don't know, and that is always a pleasure. Let's go in here. Open this baby up. Next mission. Do this. Well, I'll be Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. God. I feel like I'm in dangerous territory right now. Is this his own? Am I allowed to run? Or is that suspicious? Why have I set my hood down? They know what my face looks like, don't they? Hola. Gracias. Gracias. Hola. It's kind of all I know, even Spanish, which is kind of a shame. Which my Spanish teacher was better at a job than when she was when I was there. I can hear gunshots. Didn't really like that in the last one. There you go. Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are Duncan Walpole? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry. My wife. You met her some years ago. Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah. 
Quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. Ah. <laughs> Julianne Ducasse. I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? Yep, yeah, I'll win. The man isn't ready just yet. I'm gonna win. You've got my two best pairs of mashed pistols, Duncan, so handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat you <coughs> as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like. Get a feel for it. Okay. <laughs> I once fought beside a man who carried nine on his person. They were a boom in battle, but hindered his ability to swim. <laughs> Quite. A good kick, yes? I long for the day when one firearm carries four bullets. Oh, I forgot what bow is reload. <laughs> I have a friend in England you may like to meet you now. James Puckle. He's working Press Y to shoot the highlighted target with your pistol. I don't see the point of this. Why am I reloading that after one shot? Talk to the hosts. You, talk to me. Yeah. Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill equipped. Ah, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Uh -huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. Finally, got my assassin's blade. Woo! Two blades, as is the custom, eh? Custom, aye. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your techniques? Well, uh, we must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your oh. arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly uh, show you what I know. Here. You see, the situation is very suited to your skills. So what am I doing? Have a, go. Just... a blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose, just quick and clean. Perform various assassins. God, that's the spirit. Secrecy. Next. The advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. Move really between two spheres to blend with them. So we actually have real people working. Next. Your aerial kills have a poetic beauty, despite their conspicuous quality. Would you show us? <coughs> <coughs> what one am I going for? Haha. <laughs> Magnifique. 
wenn ich... I know. I chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenades. Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here? In Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice, take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men, or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. Can I just kill him? Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. Wow, he looks old. You were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the island you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Look at this world! <laughs> what are we discussing? Being at last. In such continental company England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now, the secret and true legislatures of the world. Please hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose to guide our wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. We should be interested how this goes down. Decades ago, the council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place our precursors once called the Observatory. <coughs> See here. Look upon these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of armillary sphere, if you like. A device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. Only imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men. No lies, no trickery. Only justice, pure justice. This is the Observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon. For in our custody is one man who does, a man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? 
We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Wow. But thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet this age for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together. For with its power, kings will fall, clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. I completed the shooting challenge. Oh well, such a loses. Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. Man. Right. Well, I'm going to end it here, so thank you for watching. Yep, I've been told that already, dude. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I am... This is one thing I, it's hard to do um, not poetry, it's Sanders Creed. It's a lot of talking and cutscenes. So it's kind of a cruddy walkthrough in that kind of sense because you're just standing here most of the time. I hope because it's the beginning, it's a story and it's just not going to be like number three where 10 hours in you're still just mm, being crap. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and until next time, I shall speak to you soon. Ciao for now.